Hey guys, it's May May, and welcome back to part 7 of our Envelope mini album, which is turning into quite a big album, not so many. But, we finished our waterfall in the back, we finished our pages, we still have to add our tags and do some other little things, some embellishments in there, but it's time to put something in the front. Now, I told you I had something in mind, and I have to say, I saw this on Pinterest. I cannot remember. I was pinning and pinning things, and I just remember thinking, that's a cool little insert. And I think it will be easy, but it will really give a lot of space, and it will look like it took more to do, but it won't take that much to do. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put a book in this area that basically does this. It's a flap that opens like this, and then it is pages that accordion out. So it's really simple, but it's a little bit of put together. So let's... um. Let's get started. And while I'm doing this measurement, I want to talk to you about a couple of things. One, I've had some questions. I like to fill in on the questions as we go. And one is, do I intend to do the cover of this album? Yes, I will complete this entire cover before the video series is over. Uh, or the entire album. Everything in it will be done. So, um, that was one question. And I'm trying to think if I had any other ones. If I think of them, I'll answer them as I go. Now, I'm probably going to make this be about the same size as our waterfall, which if I'm not mistaken, we did it at nine and a half, nope, nine by, was it six? Yep. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is create the flap for the top of the book. And it's going to be nine inches tall, okay? But the width is going to be a little bit different. We're going to have it six inches wide to cover the book. We're going to have a quarter inch deep spine and then a half inch turn under. I'll show you all that when we get to the scoring part. So let me get out a piece of paper and cut it. And I'm going to keep using this blue. I really like this blue paper. I think it is so pretty. And I love it with all those other colors in the book. So nine inches, just like that. And then we want it six inches wide for the cover flap, a quarter inch for the turn under, and then a half inch for the attachment. That will make more sense when I show you. That's just how I wanted to do it this way to get my measurements right. So this is six and three quarters wide, okay? So nine by six and three quarters. So now I've got the scoreboard and I'm gonna use my little dotting tool here. And I'm gonna score this at six inches because that's the front flap of our book, okay? I'm gonna score it at six and a, a quarter, six and a quarter inches. So it's six here, six and a quarter, here. This will be our flap that adheres down to the book, and this will be our spine or gusset area. It's really the spine. All right. This is when you're going to have to watch me to the end for it to make sense. I'm going to go ahead and do the folding of these guys and crease it. Now, I'm not going to do this fold yet. I'm going to go ahead and put the adhesive here before I crease that down. And it is half, in, half of an inch. So I'm going to use my this is about three-eighths of an inch wide sticky. I thought I had a half of an inch somewhere and I can't find it. All right, now I'm going to do that other fold. And then I'm going to show you what we did. Okay, so we basically created, and we'll get this where you can see it, we created this little spine for a book to fit inside there. Okay, so now I'm going to bring the album back over. And we're going to put this in here just like this, just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and peel this off. Oh, I know another question. Someone asked me what this tool is that I use to um, peel the backer off of this adhesive. This is a tool, and I want to say, I don't remember who made this tool. It was packaged, and it said, I want to say it was Silhouette, but I looked online and tried to find it. But what this is is one of those die picks for getting the little pieces of paper out of dies. That's all that is. You could use your Tim Holtz, Holtz pick the very same way. All right, now we're gonna put our little book, our little flap in. I know it seems weird because it's just the flap, but it will make sense as we get going. I'm just gonna close that down and get that started. And get that started and then flip it back and rub it into place. So this will become the, the front cover of our little book on the inside here, okay? Now we need to cut the papers that are going to go inside. Now this is where it's going to get interesting, okay? These papers are going to be nine inches tall, okay, by six inches wide, because we want it to be the same width as this section. But on the nine inch portion, I'm going to add another half inch, because they're going to attach end to end, 
all right? And you can decide how many pages you want to put inside this book as long as they fit inside your spine. And I'm going to do five pages and see how that goes. I've never done this before. We're just going to see how that works. So I'm going to cut five pages at nine and a half by six, and then we'll get them ready to go in the book. So close that up. And see, that's going to fit good in there. You probably can't see it yet. You'll see it when we get the stuff piled in it. So this is five white pieces of cardstock, and I've cut them at six by nine and a half. And now we're going to score them on the bottom, and I'll show you why as we get going. Now we're going to score them at nine inches or half an inch in from the bottom. This is just going to be a flap for adhering them together. That's what's going to kind of make our accordion. Like I said, I saw this on Pinterest, but I didn't see a tutorial on how to do it. So when I told you yesterday I was going to have to do some ciphering, I kind of had to, well, ciphering is what we say in the South for figuring stuff out. <laughs> and so I had to do some thinking on this one and figure out how I was going to um, put this together. And I think this is going to work, but we'll find out at the same time. It's pretty simple, but I think it's going to look like it was more difficult. So basically what's going to happen is, you got your first piece here with a half an inch fold, okay? Your next piece is going to attach to that right past that score line so it can fold up on itself. Then your next piece will attach here and so on and so on to make the accordion. But the first thing I'm going to do is put adhesive down before I fold these and that way it'll be easier to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and run a piece of adhesive on all of these little score marks. Now, I just thought of something. I told you we were learning this together. I'm not going to need a fold on one piece of paper, so I'm going to cut that part away. The reason is it's going to be the base. It's going to be the bottom side of the paper or the very bottom of the book, and so it doesn't need an um, extra piece. It's just going to get them attached to it and not be one that adds. I know that may be confusing, but when I put it together, I think it'll make sense. Okay, so I'm going to start with this first one. I'm going to go ahead and fold it and then score it. Okay. Then I'm going to peel away the adhesive and I'm going to attach this other piece to it. Now the important thing is that it does not overlap the score line. You will not get a good accordion if you overlap them. So you want to put this piece right to that score line but not on top of it. I used to be really bad about doing that and I wouldn't get a good bend. But you see how easy this bends that way? And if you lay it down, you can get it to lay perfectly flat. Okay, so you want to make sure you do that. Now, this piece becomes your bottom that goes into your book. Okay, now we're going to keep going and add to the next part. And as a matter of fact, to make this even easier, I'm not going to fold it yet at all. Because I think it will lay down easier if we don't. So... We'll go underneath. By the way, it's not going to matter if you do these on top or underneath or whatever because we're going to add mats to these. So we're going to cover up the workings of this. Okay, and now I have this one this way. So now this one will fold back on itself. And now I'm just going to keep going. I'm just adding it to the end each time. So basically we've just created this big accordion I'm going to do it this way so you can see it. See how we did that? It's going to go in our book like this. So it's going to lay into that little piece we just made. And then when you show this to folks, it's going to just pull out like a big old accordion like Santa's list. I think it's neat. I saw this in another album, like I said, and I thought it was super cute. All right, let's get ready to put it in the book. But I don't want to hear it down yet because I think I want to put a magnet in to keep it in place. So let me show you how it's going to go. We've got our flap. This is going to go right inside of that flap, like so. And then this is going to close over it. A quarter of an inch was just right. And so you see how that's going to sit? And now we have this accordion style book. Let me see if I can get it to work. I like I'll hold it in place. And it's going to work like that. So you're going to get to open all of this out. Oh, that is so much space. That's cool. I think that's a neat addition. All right. I want to do a flap that comes over that we can put a magnet inside of. So I want to adhere it down underneath the um, pages before we do anything else. And I'm thinking about using one of these strips I had left over because I can put that behind it and let it wrap over here like this. 
I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me score this in a couple places. I can use the little one for this because I was thinking. I want to have a pretty good strip to put underneath it so it'll hold really good for a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and score it at four and a half and then at four and a quarter. And I'm going to install it like that, but I think I'm going to leave um, the length here on the top for me to work with once we start decorating. That way I'll know what I want to do with it. Because I'll sandwich the magnet inside here of this strip. Alright, so we have our flap. We have our pages. And I want to put this guy down first. But you know what I think I'll do? I think I'll adhere him. Let me do it this way. I think I'll just adhere that flap to this part, which is the back side. And that way, I'll know it's in the right spot. So let me put it on here and kind of get the center. And I'm going to eyeball the center. It doesn't have to be perfect. Get it like that. And then I'll adhere it into place. Okay. Let's peel these off. I'm going to close this down on top of the paper. Alright, so now our flap is in place, our pages are together, and now we can put the adhesive on the back back here. And I'm going to be really generous because this is going to be, you know, holding some weight to it. But you, anytime you're going to put something in place where you want to wrap something around it, you want to go ahead and put it in first so that whenever it's time to have the flap or a piece of ribbon coming out, it'll already be behind there and you won't have to go, oh, I forgot, and figure out another way to do it. All right, let's install this in the book. So we'll open this flap, turn this over, I'm gonna place it in the book edge so that it's right past the score line, again, so we can get a good close. And then place that down into the book. So now our accordion is in place. This is our accordion section of the book. Okay, it's all in place. Our flap is there. So when we get ready to decorate this and put our magnet on, it'll be ready for it. See what I'm saying? Makes sense. You could put it in there and magnet it too. That would be cool. That'd be different. I've never seen that before. I don't know. I kind of like it like that. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Now what I want to do is I want to mat all of these pages with some pretty paper. So I'm going to need two, four. I think it's ten. Let me count. Two, four, six, eight, nine because the back of that won't be showing. So I'm going to cut nine pieces that are eight and three-fourths by five and three-fourths, I think. But you know me. I'm a measurer. Yep. Eight and three-fourths by five and three-fourths. So nine pieces. We'll be right back. The only thing I didn't think about this album is how it's going to be for me to show you guys what I'm doing. Because this one is going to come out. You know what I'm saying? So we're just going to do one and then an another one and I'll just have to fold them out as we go. So I am going to see how pretty this will be and show off this paper so nice. Now I told you this book is going to be a prize for someone on my Patreon page. So what I'm going to do is going to be the April prize, the month of April giveaway. Um, so what I'm going to do is not do a whole lot of um, extra to this book. I want to give them something that they can play with. We're going to do tags and all that kind of stuff in here. But this will be something that whoever gets this can play with and make it their own. So I'm going to mat these pages. And if I add anything, it's going to be real simple. And Dee Snow gave me a great idea. She said I should make some stickers or do something with the rest of the paper pad so that they can add it too. So I will add that to the prize pack. I think that'll be cute. Then they can do all they want to to it. But this will be a place that whoever wins it can really go crazy um, putting photos or using their own stamps or their own mats. But they'll have this beautiful paper as a background. All right, so I'm just going to move this out of the way. And let me see if I can slide it up. You can at least see a little bit of what I'm doing on this one. Not a whole lot, though. So I'm just doing the same thing with the wet adhesive. Can you imagine when you sit down with somebody to open this up and you're like, oh, let's look at pictures, and you pull out this big accordion? They will not expect it to come out of this book. They will be so surprised to see something like that come out of this book. And by doing these mats, it disguises how we put things together so well. Because you see the paper, you don't see 
the pieces where they're pieced together at all. All right, now I think I can come back into view for you guys to do this part. Let's see. Let's put a yellow in there. I'm gonna keep going. I'm just gonna put all these in and then I'll get right back with you when they're all done. So check this out, I turned it sideways. I think you'll be able to see what I'm doing better. Yeah, I think so. Let me make it where you see the top of the book. Okay, so here's the outside of it. This is when you open the flap, that's what you'll see there, okay? So now we're gonna do the inside with our pretty papers. If you want the details for how to win this album, I will put those below. They'll be in the description box. And by the way, there are a lot of links in the description box because as we've gotten going with this album, there seems to be a link I add almost every day for something that I add to the album. So if you're looking for anything and you're at this point, be sure to check out those links because it may be in there the answer to what you're looking for in the description box. Because every time I go to do it, I'm like, wow, these links are getting longer and longer. But you know, each day we use something different. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so while we got it sideways, I'm going to try to show you. So this is the book flap. Remember that part is the book flap, okay? So this is one piece, and then each one now has a different paper on it, and including, let's go the other way, <laughs> if you take it this way, you have a different one on it. Isn't that a lot? Look how much comes out. I think that is so cool. Whoever gets this is going to like that. I think that'll be a lot of places to put some great photos. Okay, now let's pull this over and talk about our closure. And... I know I want to put some paper on the top of this. I want to mat this here and mat this here. And I even thought about putting a pocket here. So that's possible. I have this paper that matches this side and matches this piece. And I thought that might look cool. I really do like kind of how that matches. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to put that piece there. I like it. Plus, I already had this one cut. So that works out good. Let's put this piece on. And it's the perfect size because I cut it as an extra in case I needed it on the inside of this little album we put in here. Very good. Now I have an idea. I want to bring, you know the little, um, let me show you, this little frilly edge that we did on this, I want to bring it to the edges of this some way. I'm not sure how yet, but I want to incorporate it in here. So I think I'm just going to get a piece of white and do that border on either side. Let me measure this piece. This piece is four and a quarter by one and three quarters. Let me cut a white piece that size. And I'm going to want this to kind of line up. I don't want it to look off because this is going to kind of look like a piece of lace. So I'm going to start them at the same point on both sides. I'm going to see if I can center it. If I can find a place where they kind of match up. And I'm not having any luck with that. So I'm going to start at two scallops in and I'll do the same thing on the other side too. So there we go. We have our little piece and I'm going to put it here. And won't that be pretty there? I think that'll look really nice and give that some nice stability too. I like that. I'm going to glue that down. I'm actually going to use the wet glue for it because that'll give me a little bit of time to move it if I need to. I'm also going to use another strip of the pattern paper down the middle of it. Now I'm not putting the magnet portion under here. The magnet's actually going to go on the back side of it. So here all I'm doing is just decorating this top portion. Just making it pretty. Oh, I like that piece so much. That little frilly scallop is really pretty. All right, now I want to decide what paper I want to run in here. Let me see what strips I have left. This yellow polka dot would be really cute in there. Let's measure and see what we're working with here. Um, I think an inch and a quarter will be cute. So four and a quarter by an inch and a quarter. So here's our four and a quarter by an inch and a quarter piece. And I'm just going to put it right here. And I'm probably going to do like a scallop circle here or something to be the little closure piece. So, I'll glue this guy down. I like that. Let me bring this up where you guys can see it. See how cute that little frilly edge is? I think that looks really cute. Alright, now let's talk about this. I'm going to do another 
in, um, insert here, and I'm not going to do the pocket. I thought about doing it, but see where this one lands? I think that'd be kind of, this flat won't really work for that pocket, so I'm not going to do a pocket there, but I am going to do another mat here because I'm going to put my magnet underneath it. So let me get my magnet out. So this is the magnet I use, and it's very strong. I'll be surprised if those don't shoot to each other. This is the little metal base I put on the back. I get these from um, Punch Place Plus, and they actually come in two separate purchases. You get the magnet in one purchase, and then you get the little flat pieces in another. But this will be another link that I add. So what I'm going to do is place that piece where I'm going to want this to stick down. Something like that. Yep, and I'm going to go ahead and adhere this guy down right there, and I'm going to show you how I do it, and it's kind of cheating, but this is what I do. I just take some of the sticky tape, and I just place it right on top of it, and just kind of encase it in that sticky tape, just like that. Let me peel this backer. So now the sticky's exposed, and I'm going to go across it again. And that way, that magnet is sealed up in that sticky. Now, these magnets are strong, so it'll be just fine. And then when I put my piece on that I cut for it, matter of fact, I think I'll leave that piece there in case I shut it on accident. <laughs> okay, so I've cut two pieces to put on top of our magnet. And what I'm going to put on first is a white piece. And this piece is, I knew I wouldn't remember the measurement, so I have to tell you this way. This piece, I ended up cutting it at four and three quarters by seven and three quarters because I wanted a really good border to show. You see that? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some sticky tape on this to put it down. You can see I put a lot on like four and a half pieces even because I want it to really stick really well. The reason I didn't use the wet glue here is because I think this really seals those magnets in better just in case. I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like you know wet glue helps metal at all and this way I'm not having to depend on wet glue I'm just depending on sticky tape even though I've encased that magnet in sticky tape I don't know I get the feeling this holds better you ever just have a feeling about something you just know it this is one of those things alright so now this piece is ready to lay on top but I want to peel this off so that that magnet is exposed but it's underneath all of our sticky tape. That's just the way I found is the easiest to put that guy in there. And then we'll just line this one up and then I'm just going to work it down. And that magnet is just nice and closed up inside of there and now I'm going to put this piece on and see I'll have that little white border. I cut this piece a quarter of an inch smaller all the way around I just thought that was pretty and so this one I'm just going to use wet glue and put it down because it's not holding the magnet in place. And I don't know yet what I'm going to do to embellish this, but we'll come up with something as we go. I'm sure I have something that will go cute here. All right, now we can put our magnet on the back side here. And what I like to do for that is drop this into place. Did you see how that went right where it was supposed to go? Get it where it needs to go. And then I'm going to put some sticky on this side. Peel off this backer. I'm going to turn this guy up and fold it down right where it should land and just tap it on that metal piece and lift up. I don't want to stick all that down, I just want to pick up that metal piece. If you're nervous about that, just put the sticky on the back of the metal piece and then shut it down, but don't press because the rest of that will go onto your paper. All right, so now I know that's where it should go and I want to do a little piece inside of here, so let me cut a piece there. And it needs to be, let's see, one and a half by, I'm gonna do four and a quarter. So this is the strip that's going here, but I'm going to put sticky tape on it first. And I'm going to cover it in sticky tape just because it'll do a couple things. It'll add some stability to our little flap and it will keep that magnet in place over time. It's so sticky. It is totally stuck to my fingers right now. <laughs> Watch this. That's how sticky this tape is. I love it. All right, and now I'm just going to center this and go right to the edge, which is how I cut it to do. Just center it all the way down. Cool beans. And then, flap it over. Now our magnet is working. Now it's not decorated because I want to put something here to be cute. But check that out. 
See how that's closing for us? That's nice. So now whenever someone has this, all that paper is not going to fall out. All of our accordion is going to stay in place because of that. Let's go ahead and work on this guy. I think I want to do, let me see something. Because of that little scallop, I think I want to do a scallop circle on the end here. And this is a two inch. I could even do a square. I don't know, the square might be better. How big is the scallop square? My square, that square is pretty big. Well, it's two inches also. I want to do the square. I think it works better in this book. So I'm going to do a scallop square, and then I'm going to cut a square to go inside of it. So let me cut one of those in white. Okay, so what I did was I cut three of those pieces of blue and one piece of white. My white is one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths, and this blue is a two inch scallop circle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere these guys together and make it thicker, almost the thickness of a lightweight chipboard because I want this to be able to hold up to being used over time. So I felt like one little piece is not going to be good for there. So we're just going to add these all together. Just sandwich them together. So we're just making it thicker. You can do this if you ever want to create dimension. You can also just cut multiples and stack them on top of each other. But I think the wet glue inside of here and then stacking them together like this is really going to make this a lot stronger and will hold up over years of use and abuse if whoever gets this is like my family because we will probably abuse it. We will open, open, and open it. Just line that guy up. That's much better. I already like how thick that feels. And then I'm just going to add this white square. Now I know I will embellish the square with something, but I don't know what, but I still want it there. I like the feel of buckles, and that's what this feels like to me. I am big on like belt buckles and things like that. I think they look really cute on projects. So that's kind of what I was thinking with this. It's kind of like a belt buckle. It almost looks like a, a leprechaun belt buckle, to be honest with you. <laughs> but I like it. So now I'm going to put this to where those scallops are just to the edge. Matter of fact, let me open this up. I'm going to put this, if we look inside... Those scallop pieces are just going to be at the edge of that um, belt, basically, because I really want it to be as adhered down as I can possibly make it. So I'm going to come right on the inside of this and use a whole good bit of wet glue to hold this in place. Okay. And then I'm just going to slide this to where those scallops are just to the edge. I'm going to flip it over and make sure I get it straight. And right to the edge. Oh, I like it. Doesn't it look like a little belt buckle? I think it does. I think it's super cute. That felt a little crooked. I need to look at it. There we go. All right, I love it. All right, so we've got our little book inserted. I need to let that dry for a minute before I start messing with it, but I'll pull back here. So our magnet opens, our accordion comes out, all of our pages come out. <laughs> Isn't that cool? We'll flip them back down slowly. Look at all that landscape, all that real estate for us to put stuff. And then our little closure. Excellent. So tell me what you think. I like the way this turned out myself, and I can't wait to find what's gonna go right here because I think that'll be super cute. And guys, we are so close. It's time to tags. So we'll be putting tags inside our album. And that may be about it. I'm going to decorate inside of here. Just put something pretty here. And probably we'll be able to start on our cover pretty soon. And I'm excited about that because I'm ready to put the magnets in here too to give it more stability because I keep opening and closing it, you know. So I'm ready to get some magnets in there. Look how full it is. But the big thing I love about it is that it's going to be nice and square and clean and it won't be, you know, puckered because of what's inside of it. And you still have room to put um, pictures. There's plenty of room in there. It's very movie. All right, guys, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow and we will start doing our tags and discussing what we're going to do in here, which I'm not sure yet, still thinking, but we'll definitely get our tags done. Probably add some more pockets down here just for good measure. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Do a little flip through real quick so you can see it. And our little waterfall is here. I love how that turned out. I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.